according to the journal that was published on October 13, 2020 by the ILO, FAO, IFAD, and the World Health Organization, the COVID-19 has, has led to the loss of human life worldwide and presents a challenge to public health, food systems, and a world of work. The interruption created by the pandemic is disastrous. Their data shows that the people are at risk of falling into extreme poverty. Their data shows that the number of undernourished people estimated nearly 690 million could increase by up to 132 million by the end of the year. Millions of companies face an existential threat. So one of the solutions that was suggested by the Department of Health is to, put, uh, is to practice protective measures. One of these is to maintain and practice a, sh a distance of one meter away from individuals or we call it the social distancing. This research paper aims to design, build, and innovate an automatic sliding door, increase the effectiveness of social distancing in the Philippines. Technology, we can uh, look it in our methodology. And lastly, the research team will create an, innov uh, an innovative and more brilliant solution from existing research and observations on automatic sliding door. They will be developing program that uses image recognition in an automatic sliding door to, inc to help increase physical distancing effectiveness among crowded places like commercial establishments and supermarkets. In today's modern age, where technology has become a way of life, the pandemic coronavirus disease of 2019 or COVID-19 brought us its pressures and struggles to overcome. The government established some rules and regulations to prevent the spread of coronavirus disease. A majority of the country's establishment uses electronic equipment and sliding door that is commonly used in malls and shops to enter and exit without touching the door to keep away from viruses. In this study, we will develop a prototype that will significantly minimize the number of people entering malls, banks, shops, and other crowded places to maintain the social distance and to prevent the spread of viruses, which is vital for our safety. Background of the study Technology affects societies in the development of creating advanced economies. Advanced economies have made life more convenient for many people who have access to new technology. One of the examples of this is the automatic sliding door which is commonly used in supermarkets nowadays. So we have two significance. First, the socioeconomic. Then the second one is technological. Now first, the socioeconomic significance. In this study, the proposed system will motivate other students to develop an effective and efficiency system. So the second one is technological significance. So the proposed system will introduce technolo technology to business owners and its workers that until now is adapting the method of clinic management. So who benefits this research? The first one is establishment, business owner, co-workers, customers, and researchers. So the objective of this study, we have three primary objectives. So first, to design a simple model of an automatic sliding door that locks once it counts people within the total capacity in a room. Then the second one is developing a simple model can be transformed into a more significant, cheaper, and more innovative project. Then the third one is to help people who own establishments to cooperate, participate, and control people, the new normal that is one of the practices is attaining physical and social distancing in restaurant and small establishment. The conceptual framework used in this study is the input process output. As shown in the figure, the baseline research, components identification, and 
knowledge and skills are the input for the machine design. Implementation and this testing is the process. And for the output is the entire operation of, of the um, automatic sliding door. In general, the focus of this study is directed towards the automated full capacity sliding door using microprocessor with image processing for human counter. About five medium to large size establishments with its business owner, co-workers, and customers are randomly selected within Cagayan de Oro only from December 2021 to January 2022. The study is largely dependent on the honesty, sincerity, and integrity of the respondents. In this proposed prototype, the business owner, co-workers, and customer will safely manage the establishment and will organize the control of the situation inside the establishment. The door is made up of two slides for the entrance and exit of the people. However, if there's some unexpected problem like fire, technical issue, and electrical interruption, we will use the safety button to ensure the safety of everyone inside the establishment. In laying the foundation to use Raspberry Pi 3 camera module imagery for scientific and engineering purpose by Mary Pagnuti, their work helped us to have a low-cost imaging sensor. This sensor when calibrated to produce scientific quality data can be used in our automatic sliding door for uh, security applications, biophotonics, remote sensing, high dynamic range imaging. According to the study of Bruno F. Carvalho, Chelsea M. Silva, Alessandra M. Silva, Fabio Boati, and Rafael Timoteo, the evaluation of an Arduino-based IoT person counter is about proposing the implementation of an IoT person counter. They use two different technologies for this operation, motion and ultrasonic. They can use the information provided by the person counter device in a several scenarios, such as to ensure the security of, a, to, of access to a room, or to regulate the temperature of a room and also to verify the best option to design a counter device with low-cost microcontrollers and sensors. The researcher's data are collected through probability sampling since our respondents are the customers, establishment, employees, and business owners. The data collected is achieved using either an online or physical survey, sampling design, data collected method, and data analysis method to ensure valid and reliable results that addresses the research aims and objective objectives. The researchers will observe and analyze the answered surveys from the respondents the researchers will randomly pick the person who answered the survey and ask their permission to participate in another survey after which the researchers will analyze the result and randomly select respondents for one-on-one -on -one interviews for validation the design generated by the researchers is then enforced which is the prototyping section of the project in creating the prototype, we are planning to use Raspberry Pi as a microprocessor and a, as a human counter. For human detection or image recognition, we will use uh, Raspberry Pi camera as, camera as human detector for the door actuator, a geared DC motor with uh, 3 to 12 volts, and motor controller are fit for the road. We will also use Arduino, Arduino Nano as the microcontroller. So how how the 
how does the automatic sliding door work? As you can see, the Raspberry Pi camera is used for image recognition. It is programmed to detect human presence. As the, as, the, as the sliding doors open, it counts a person as it goes inside the room or an establishment. If the room or an establishment is full, the door will not open until the person leaves the room. In the next slides, you will see the sample of our 3D model of our prototype. Development. The design generated by the researchers is then enforced within the prototyping section of the project. During this stage, the researchers started creating the example limitation of the project. The researchers additionally sought bits of advice from their advisor, even to their classmate, who they thought regarding the project and design. Implementation the implementation of the study was achieved through the combination of all cited development and enhancement. Taking into the recommendation from the previous studies after it was installed and tested its efficacy. Automatic sliding door using microcontroller Arduino will serve its purpose and that is to give convenience to where the people going in and out in certain establishments. The functionality and reliability of the said technology are at their best. Therefore, the application of this technology has an obvious favorable outcome. Inevitable downfalls and malfunctions are expected. But nevertheless, technicians are expected to have their backup plans in case of emergency scenario.